What's happening, guys? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. BYU baseball got the win over Utah. Why do we care where BYU softball is staying? And women's volleyball is ranked number four in what? Let's go. The Bat Cats beat Utah 10 to three in the Deseret duel. It always feels great to beat Utah. It also feels great to get three Grand Slams in the past four games, which they've also done, thanks to Danny Jelilich, who hit his first career home run in the top of the eighth. Not a bad one when it's also a Grand Slam. Grand Slam home run for Danny Jelilich! Up to that point, it was tied 2-2, two to two. but after the Grand Slam, it was game over. BYU softball is killing it in the postseason. They've got not one, not two, but three WCC awards. Aaron Miklas won WCC Defensive Player of the Year. Arissa Paulson was named WCC Pitcher of the Year. And Lexi Tarot was named the WCC Player of the Year. They're in Stillwater right now preparing for the NCAA Regionals. I want to send them my Kiki Karma but honestly, I don't know if they're gonna need it because they're staying next to Chili's. Is, is this real life? This is real. Look at the view from their hotel room. Hi, welcome to Chili's. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, guys. And now for some volleyball news. The U.S. women's national team has announced their 25-player roster for the 2019 FIVB Volleyball Nations League. And guess who's on it? Mary Lake. We already told you that Mary made the preliminary roster, but now it's official. She will represent Team USA in the premier annual international volleyball tournament. Mary Lake isn't the only big news coming out of women's volleyball. The recruiting class of 2019 has been rated number four in the nation, according to PrepVolleyball.com. This is the highest ever ranking for BYU. We've got a lot of siblings in BYU athletics. It's easy to cheer for them when they're on the same team. But what about when they're not? Take the Curry family, for example. Steph and Seth Curry are facing off in the NBA Western Conference Finals. This has got to be a little awkward for their family. I mean, who roots for who? Who's repping what jersey? They were so torn, they decided to use a coin flip to decide. I love this because what else do you do? I hope Zach Eschenberg's parents are taking notes. Because Zach may play for BYU Volleyball, but his brother Ian plays for MPSF rival UCLA. So, they may need a coin flip. Same with the Kafusis. Who wears whose jerseys now when the Jets play the Saints? Maybe they should refer to Danny Jelich's parents. They've done this before. In 2016, Danny was playing for BYU Baseball when his brother Matt was playing for Pepperdine. A lot of people have to deal with sibling rivalries. But this takes it to a whole nother level. Must be hard to have such an athletic family. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us that follow. I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Heads or tails? Heads. Tails! <laughs>